Well, it began as a joke, but now it's turned into something much more serious, and Nevada is trying to get ahead of the Storm Area 51 event. Lawmakers voting to pre-sign an emergency declaration after an online appeal drew interest from thousands of people. William Lajeunesse is live in Los Angeles with more. William? Well, John, here's why that declaration. You have an area larger than the state of Connecticut and 184 hotel rooms. Where do you put 100,000 people or more who show up to party and breach a military base where the government is allegedly hiding aliens and UFOs? Storm Area 51 did begin as an Internet joke, but residents in rural Nevada are not laughing. Officials in two counties have signed that state of emergency declaration to qualify for extra security. One county approved permits for a three-day concert and expo, expo, but supervisors in a neighboring county denied a permit for a music festival, fearing they could not handle the crowd. They say this is a non Drug, no drugs, no alcohol. Who are you trying to kid? I'm also concerned about, oh, gee, uh, no smoking out here. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean for that whole area to go up in flames. The Air Force isn't too happy either, promising to protect their facility from trespassers. Now, in short, even if a fraction of the three million who have RSVP'd for this event show up, you have a traffic, cell phone, sanitation, and public safety nightmare in an area with basically one two-lane highway. But entrepreneurs see a gold mine and a good time. I don't think anybody could ever prepare for anything like this. I, you know, um, but we're doing our absolute best. Um, and hopefully it turns out to be an absolutely phenomenal event. So those planning to go will likely fly into Vegas and I drive an hour north. Literally, it is one month away, John, September 21st, the weekend, temps in the 90s. You might not find aliens, but it could look like another world. Back to you. I won't be there. Okay. <laughs> Thanks very much.